everybody, welcome back to my channel. Or if this is your first time here, hi, my name is Dana. I upload a new video at least once a week, so if you haven't already, now is a great time to subscribe so you can stay on top of all of those new videos. I have my January Sips by box to open today, the first one of the year. So let's just open it up and get right into it. So on top, there is the postcard, of course, that says January teas. And on the back, there's all the information about all the teas in this box. I like to be surprised though. I don't really like to look through um, the postcard before I look through the actual box. But let's read the top part. Made for Dana. Happy 2022, Dana. We hope this new year is your best yet and that the new teas you discover along the way will bring an extra bit of joy to your days. Curl up with a cuppa and look forward to what's ahead. That's really nice. Uh, I hope everybody's having a great 2022 so far. So there's always this packet of disposable tea bags. And I find them really nice for if you're traveling, which is a good reminder to myself because the day I'm filming this, I'm actually leaving tomorrow for a trip. So I'm gonna throw these in my suitcase. They're just like these disposable tea bags. You can pack them with whatever tea you want and then just use it the way you would use a tea bag. So I might even like pre pack them with tea. So that way I don't even have to bring like my teaspoon or anything like that. I can just uh, have them ready to go like tea bags and plop them in my cup and uh, go for it. And then I just realized that um, on here, I don't know if they changed what it says on the sticker on the outside of the bag or if it's always said this and I just never noticed. It says reusable muslin cloth tea bag, disposable bags inside. So I didn't realize that this like fabric bag can be used as a reusable tea bag. That's really cool. I feel like it might be a bit difficult to clean, but I have seen these before. I think the brand Steep and Sip has their own tea bags like this that they've sent me. I haven't used it because I'm so attached to my metal infusers. I, I love them. But um, that is really cool. So all of these like muslin bags, I've been saving them and I use them to like store my craft supplies. Like I usually take out the bags and use like the outside bag. And so I have like safety pins in one and paper clips in another and like just little craft things in my drawers to keep them organized. But I didn't realize you could actually make your tea in the fabric bag. So you learn something new every day. <laughs> So here on top, I have Seriously Tea, Cozy Apple Pie Tea. It says Culinary Inspired Tea, Blending Kits, and Perfect Tea Tools. I've never heard of Seriously Tea, but this sounds really good. I might try this one today on camera. Ooh, I've never had a matcha before in a Sip Spy box. This is Bacha Matcha, and its uh, logo is a sheep, and he has little green wool, super cute. So that's really nice. I've never opened a matcha and I can bring this on my trip too because the only other matcha I have right now is like a ginormous tub of one that we got on Amazon. So um, this little packet I can put in my suitcase and hopefully I can get my hands on like uh, just a wire whisk there or I can shake it or something. I didn't even know that sips by like does matcha. I guess I just assumed it's mostly like normal loose tea that you'd think of. Um, I've had some like blends that are dusted with matcha, but this is my first actual matcha and I love matcha. It's part of my daily routine. Every single morning I take a shot of matcha. I, I make it in like the bowl with the whisk and then I put it in like a little tiny cup and I just shoot it real quick, done with it, feel good for the rest of the day. Um, getting in all my antioxidants first thing uh, before I even eat breakfast. So I love, I love that they included that. So far this is a good box. Oh my gosh, Steep and Sip. So I was just talking about them with their uh, reusable fabric bags. Um, they're awesome actually, Steep and Sip. I've worked with them before. They've sent me some of their teas and they are really fabulous. I believe they're black woman owned, so extra fabulous. And this is their roasted yerba mate. I think it's just a straight yerba mate, but roasted, you know, and I love that. It has like the roasty flavor. I love roasted teas, so I, I already know I'm gonna love this one. You can't go wrong with a roasted yerba mate. And so far, 
This one is a black tea, this one's a green tea, and this one's a mate, so I have three completely different things. I love when I have really good variety in these boxes, so that's fabulous. And then here we have Christmas morning. A little late for that, considering it is January. But this one is from Charities, Teas from the Road Less Traveled, and it's a sweet rooibos blend with cocoa nibs and mint. This would have been really nice for Christmas, <laughs> but it sounds good anyway. You can't go wrong with chocolate mint teas. So I think I'm gonna try this one today, the Seriously Tea Cozy Apple Pie Tea. There is snow on the ground, so gotta have something cozy while we're inside. And you could argue that all tea is cozy because it is, so you would absolutely be correct. But since this one has cozy in the title of the tea, I say we gotta do this one. Oh, and it smells really cinnamony and wonderful. So let's open it up. I'm gonna get it steeping before we do too much else. So I'm just gonna scoop it right into the infuser. And pour in our hot water. I always use metal basket tea infusers. I actually sell these on Amazon. So if you are in need of just your perfect basic way to make tea, that link will be below for you. So I'm gonna look at the postcard and see what it says about cozy apple pie tea. The ingredients are organic black tea, apples, cinnamon, clove, allspice, nutmeg, and safflower. Craving a delicious holiday treat? Enjoy this sophisticated dessert tea blended with organic black tea and warm apple pie ingredients for cozy holiday flavors in each sip. So we are like past the holidays and it's like my January box. So it is a little weird that everything is like Christmas, holidays. I don't know if the bow, this red bow is always on their teas or if it's like for Christmas, um, but a little weird that it's like so Christmas themed after uh, Christmas is over, but it shows their Instagram handle. So I'm gonna start off by going to that. And it is at seriously T. So same logo on their Instagram, some cool pictures. And there isn't much in their like bio, like nothing really that gives us any new information. So I'm gonna click on their website. Cute, I like this flat lay. It has like a little, bowl of rosebuds, a little bowl of chamomile, some tea, and a white background, which I love. Perfect tea tools, culinary inspired tea blends and complete kits. Tea in the time of now. Perhaps the toughest pursuits demand linear thought and concise ideas. Even when quarantined and during an uprising, not tea. There is an ease in tea for mama, papa, gramps, nana, boy, girl, lover, friend, colleague, you. Discuss, disclose, declare, tea is self-care. Oh, I love that. Tea is self-care. Health, morning, evening, co-parents, cold and flu. Crush, heartbreak, hello, goodbye. Bad day, big smile, deep sigh. So it's like a, it's like a poem. I didn't realize I started reading it and I was like reading it weird because I didn't realize. <laughs> oh, I love this brand so far. All right, the story. We got to know the story. All right, this is Jillian, the founder, and she is cute as can be. Look at her. Um, I love tea, not just a little. I love it a lot. My husband, Mike, is an extraordinary private chef. As a duo, we're serious about food, beverage, and especially our daily cups of tea. When I travel, I pack a full tea kit in my suitcase, mini kettle and all. Yes, I am aware that there will likely be tea available for purchase at my destination, but I can't take a chance. I need mixing herbs and high quality tea. It's not just tea, it's hands-on joy. What a delight it is to sip tea blends based on my mood, or better yet, pair my tea with meals. That is so cool, and it looks like Jill has a blog as well. Oh my gosh, this is cool. Chamomile face mist recipe and essential oil. So it's not just like food and drink recipes, a face mist. Really, really interesting. And I definitely relate to that. I'm like talking about traveling. I'm not gonna bring my kettle. So I'm not gonna go so far as Jill would, but I am going to pack myself some tea bags. I'm gonna try to make it like an easy, simple kit so I don't have to bring like the whole shebang, but um, I definitely am bringing like my own tea. I'm not gonna like wait and see what they have 
um, where we go either. Okay, and let's go to the cozy apple pie tea and see if there's anything else to learn. Oh, it looks like it's not on their website anymore, but they do have a chai molasses tea, which I can only imagine is perfect. Like that gingerbread molasses, like deep flavor is something I feel like you don't find a lot in tea. Oh wait, here it is. It's just under a different name, sweet cinnamon apple spice tea. But then when it shows it here, it has the same cozy apple pie tea. So it says, happy holidays. Cozy apple pie tea is now sweet cinnamon apple spice. The sweet cinnamon needed to be in the name and a little vanilla addition never hurt anybody. This is the same great tea. This blend makes a truly delicious, flavorful cup of tea. Real apples, sweet cinnamon, nutmeg, vanilla, and safflower blend together to make a wonderfully balanced and not overpowering cup of apple pie inspired black tea. You'd think this is a sweet dessert tea, but it's more sophisticated than that. This is a nice version of an everyday black tea. Most teas that are inspired by baked goods don't have real ingredients in them, only artificial that don't quite hit the mark, but this blend is made from organic black tea and real ingredients, and that's how the things you consume should be made. The sweet cinnamon apple spice tea is balanced and pleasing enough to become your everyday cuppa. Trust me, get it before it's gone. So it is limited edition for the holiday. The Seriously Tea culinary approach taken with all of our teas means we combine natural ingredients that you can actually cook with to make our blends. Drink it hot with a little cream and agave or with marshmallows or by itself. This tea is just so good. It's more than a seasonal tea. Oh wow, this is so cool. It has uses, like a uses section, and it says, um, Apple pie toddy, apple cider, apple teeny cocktail, Thanksgiving tea, mulled wine base, holiday tea, warm cozy hot drink, perfect for gifting, dessert tea, potpourri room fragrance, coffee substitute contains caffeine. So this is really cool, like a really fresh, unique kind of brand. And to know that they're so knowledgeable about like ingredients and flavors just really like sets a high expectation for me with this tea. So let's go ahead and remove our infuser. Mm, I definitely smell the sweet cinnamon. I do like the cozy apple pie name, but I understand like the sweet cinnamon is gonna be like kind of the star of the show along with that apple. So we'll see like how much it reminds me of an apple pie or if I think the new name is more fitting. So let's go ahead and try it. It's really nice. Wow, the cinnamon is so sweet. And there's nothing in this that sweetens it. Or I guess, you know, the apples. Apples are really great for adding sweetness to a tea without adding like too much of a strong flavor. Um, a lot of the time you see apples in tea that aren't even like apple teas because they just add such a nice sweetness. And this is so sweet and the cinnamon as well. But that being said, you taste the apple. Like this is absolutely an apple pie tea. So I don't know if the ingredients have changed at all because she did mention vanilla and I don't see vanilla on the ingredients list. So it looks like it is a bit different because it's organic black tea, apples, cinnamon, vanilla, nutmeg, and safflower. Huh, so a little different. So I don't know if what I'm trying is correct on here or if it's correct on the website. But I, I do feel a vanilla vibe from this. So I would guess that it's probably true to what's on the website because this one has all spice and this one doesn't taste like as deep, deeply, spiced and also on the website it doesn't say cloves either so i'm not really sure that part is a bit confusing but it's really nice i feel like the black tea is more of like a sweet like honey note black tea 
Like it's not like, I don't think it's an Assam or anything like too bold. I just realized I completely forgot to show the tea, but here's how it looks all spread out. Definitely see the black tea and those apples and the cinnamon. I don't know, I guess I'd be curious if I can spot cloves because, you know, assuming they're whole cloves, because that would tell me if the postcard is correct or the website is correct. And this is all of it, and I don't see any cloves, so I think it is more true to like what's on the website. And I, I smell the vanilla too, so I, I do believe that this is the version on the website. It's really nice. I mean, we've all had apple spiced tea, I think. So it's nothing like groundbreaking or crazy, but I do feel like uh, Seriously Tea's perspective as a tea brand is really fresh and unique. So my kind of first impression of Jillian is like, she's someone I would definitely want to be friends with. She seems like a little eccentric. Like she's so serious about her tea, which I mean, me too, but I feel like she takes it to a level beyond what I even do. Like, like one of those people who's super smart, a little quirky. She seems really, really cool. So I'm really glad I got to know her brand, Seriously Tea. And this tea is really nice. I feel like apple is a hard flavor to capture without adding any artificial apple flavor. Um, but I definitely get it in this, so hats off to Seriously Tea for making an awesome, cozy, spiced apple tea. With that beautiful hit of the sweet cinnamon. It's desserty, like in that it does taste like apple pie, like the filling of an apple pie, and it's sweet, but I, it's not too sweet or overpowering. Like it's not like just a desserty tea. Like you definitely could drink this every day um, as your, you know, morning tea, afternoon tea, but really, really nice. So Sip Spy has blessed me with yet another wonderful box of teas. A couple things I'm gonna bring on my trip with me, that matcha, and I'm gonna fill up these tea bags and get them ready to go. And I love how balanced this box is. I feel like they they do a great job of that, Sip Spy. Like, they always give me a little of everything, and this one especially. And I love that they didn't give me a straight black tea. Sometimes they've been doing that. Um, and none of the teas in this box are like fruity. I guess, you know, apple is a fruit obviously, but I don't see like spiced apple as like fruity. Like they didn't give me anything like berry or hibiscus um, and those aren't my favorites. And sometimes I still get ones like that. So this was really an awesome box. Even though there's like a Christmas tea, that's totally okay. I'm sure I'm gonna love it. Uh, regardless. So thank you again to Sip Spy for sending me these awesome boxes every month. If you want boxes of your own, you can go to their website and it's really cool. You go through like a preferences quiz thing where you select what kind of teas and what kind of flavors you like and don't like and then um, they tailor it to you every single month. I've had really a wonderful experience with them. I hope that you and your families are all staying safe and healthy. I hope you're having an amazing start to your new year and a beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.